Hello, good evening, your boy Psychic Samario here. Psychic is short today, Psychic to the Stars, with your Love Scopes reading for the sign of Sagittarius um, and the sign of Libra for the dates of April 14th through the 17th. So we can get that crack a lap in here. Rosemary, Joseph, Dennis, Lawrence, Mark, Anthony, Ancestors of Odin, Me, Kendra Michael, Kendra Ariel, Kendra Samuel, Kendra Raphael, Kendra Gabriel, Kendra Metatron, Kendra Uriel, Ishu, Papalekpa, Oshun, Shango, and Ogun. Give me a message you have the sign of Sagittarius and Libra. Okay, I'm going to pull about five of these here, like that one, obstacles and challenges, okay, rest and rejuvenation, okay, spiritual strength, firm foundation, and solar plexus chakra, okay, let's write these down here. Looks like you guys have, to have not having a very good eating habit here, Libra. Sagittarius eating all times of the night, and so forth and so on. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Pull it here and pull five of these. Obstacles and Challenges card, we have the World card upright. Under Rest and Rejuvenate, we have Happy Family, Spiritual Strength, we have Community, okay. It's the Sun under Firm Foundation and Archangel Metatron in Reverse under Solar Plexus Chakra, okay. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. This is Odin, Archangel Michael, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Chandler. Into Gabriel, into Metatron, Raya, Isha, Kabalekpa, Oshu, Shango, Kung, and Message Chat for Sagittarius and Libra. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I was just having a conversation with my spirit guys there. All right. So, Sagittarius and Libra, this is for the dates of April 14th through the 17th. The first three cards here are significant cards. Go ahead and bring those up here, which is the Seven of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Let's go ahead and pull these three significant cards here for the spread. This basically lays the foundation of the spread for the week for you. Here, let's see Seven of Cups in reverse. Here, let's see, this speaks to more so um, maybe starting a project and maybe having it put on hold. Um, also, it speaks to like unrealisticality or um, illusion, okay? But let's see what it says here. All right, yes, illusion. There we go. Seven of Cups reversed. A determined belief that a new love, home, or project is on the one and only means that you are willing to overlook any deficiencies. And again, this is the Golden Tarot by listing. Look at the deficiencies. As a consequence, you may be deceived in love, but prefer to convince yourself that all is well rather than face an uncomfortable truth. Okay. Right. Looks like a definitely a lot of people. This is why this is adjacent to firm foundation. Maybe you guys have an open relationship or maybe bring other people to your bedroom or thought about the idea of that or invited that into your space or thought about maybe, um, you know, dating outside of yourselves um particularly also this could also mention like the ability to maybe work in a community type of environment maybe work as a um, doctor or a nurse or a lawyer libra uh, sagittarius or you work in the field of like nonprofit, or we work as customer service or you do something where you're always in the, the face of the community okay you could be a minister you could also be um Someone working in the clergy as well is what I'm pulling up as well. This is under spiritual strength. All right, let's just leave what this says for Six of Swords upright. Okay, this is uh, the next position here. I want to take a look at what's that the page? I just see the Six of Swords. Okay, Pentacles and then Swords. Okay, Six of Swords. Okay, and this is upright. Okay, place restored. Finally, harmony prevails, and you are able to take. The time out now that everything is in order. There may be an opportunity to travel abroad for rest or career. Definitely for rest. Okay. Rest and rejuvenate came up, right? Rest or career and return to the demands of your everyday life with more verve. While the six does not indicate a project or problem is resolved, it advises that you will enjoy a little distance from it. Again, that's why rest and rejuvenate came up here. All right. 
and maybe potentially some obstacles and challenges, which is why it's right next to the card here and adjacent to happy family. Maybe happy family is causing a little bit of disruption with you, Sagittarius and um, Libra. Okay, it's a summer veil. Okay, I keep pulling the family card for Sagittarius, this, um, depending on the, regardless of the uh, opposite sign. Okay, that's the six of swords, the second of the ten of pentacles in reverse. Definitely deal with family conflict. But let me see what it's saying about family conflict here so you can see it as well. Um, I also pulled this card for Sagittarius and Pisces, which is funny if you want to go check out that video. Um, same Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So it looks like the common denominator is Sagittarius in this one, but let's see. All right, the reverse 10 reveals family conflict from separation to inheritance issues. A will may be disputed or another long term expectation is not fulfilled. A member of an older generation may hold out the beliefs that frustrate you younger family members. Again, having to stay firm, okay, with, with your family members, okay? All right. This is what I'm saying. All right, let's see what's Archangel Metatron, why he is in the reverse. He's the only one in reverse here, okay? He's going to offer some insight, some clarity into the situation here. Let's see what Archangel Metatron has to say. Excuse me. Here, yeah, I got my incense about to fall over. I'm number 40. Let's see. Here we go. Archangel Metatron. This is he, and this is him in the reverse. So we're going to go to the reverse. Okay. This card reverse admonishes or begs you to get clear you may have been lost in confusion and had unclear or distorted thinking right again not resting okay you're not getting enough sleep libra staying up all hours of the night like you know playing with yourself watching porn doing whatever trying to find something to do because you're bored at the fuck out your mind you're in how bored in the house and you're in the house bored okay this is what i'm saying all right so distorted thinking but even in this state of mental chaos has been going on for quite some time your lack of your lack of personal direction can be turned around okay take off the blinders and widen your perspective visualize the life you want to live and the person you want to be and make that your intention okay all right, it's time to break out the old toxic thought patterns, whether they be habits of worry, doubt, or self-criticism. It's also time to develop a clearer, healthier vision of how you perceive yourself and what you want your daily, daily, okay? It's emphasis on daily. That's why it's an italicized here, um, life to look like. Know that you are in charge of making yourself, okay? That's what I'm saying. But the solar plexus shock is sometimes you may have to grab your abdomen when you pray. Set your abdomen or just hold your abdomen like this above your navel. And put it against your chest and pray. That it, it, it ignites this solar plexus chakra. It has to have some touch. It's like ganglia of nerves. It's two fingers above your belly button. So if your belly button looks like this, right? Two fingers above is your solar plexus, a ganglia of nerves right here that orchestrates the core of your being. Also, it serves as a vital resource that connects the chakras. Okay, that's mostly where you're like if you were thinking about a locomotive or a train, this would be the coal that produces the locomotive, the helps of locomotive or train of the caboose actually push the train. Okay, the solar plexus is the power center okay i mean creativity it's like a heartbeat of your of your chakra okay so this, this is what it's saying okay maybe take some time to rest because that may be blocked okay this may be blocked you may not be your creativity may be stifled sagittarius and in, in pisces you may feel like your gift may be stifled you may not get enough clarity and thought and vision okay this is why okay you're not getting enough rest and also it's saying your spiritual strength when you don't rest your spiritual strength does have a toll on you okay you can entertain people and not put back into your life okay libra Okay, you're going on live on IG. Okay, you're trying to do everything for the people, but we got to look out for yourself. This is saying look, your spiritual strength is all that you have, Sagittarius and Libra. Okay, this particularly pertains to Libra. Okay, for Sagittarius, which is the sun here, this lets me know for in foundation, stand your ground. Okay, Stop depending on Libra to fix the shit for you. Okay, you may not be confrontational like the Libra, but you need to say, be the firmest one, Sagittarius, in the situation that pertains to kids or making a move or um, anything that we've resonated with today as pertains to you know the obstacles and challenges of getting things done or making this relationship work i'm also pulling like maybe someone may have had some issues with the car lately or with the vehicle as well libra um you're also getting a lot of purchases making online libra as well you might want to cease that okay but don't buy out of boredom okay that's what i'm saying all right if you like what it's what I've said, what, what if you like the spread or any of this resonates with you, like, comment, share, subscribe below. Again, okay, this is like a scenario. I love each and every one of you guys. Peace out.